Go ahead and grab one from each cutting board. Three, two, one. Ready, set, go. What's up, dude? Hey. <laughs> I know what we're gonna do today. What are we gonna do? Grilled cheese challenge. Grilled cheese challenge? Whose grilled cheese do the kids life more? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> He's a pro chef. I'm a home cook. Hey, if you guys don't know, a cook named Matt, I mean, you've seen him in other vlogs, but he drove all the way up here. In hella traffic. I know, so man. He can show me this vlogging thing he's doing. Well, you're in the vlog right now, Vlogception. So, we're gonna go shopping, and uh, I didn't even tell him about this, by the way, so a little scary. But let's see which grilled cheese the kids like more. Don't, don't be offended if I win because. Well, yeah, you already know this house, you know? No, no, because literally the girls would rather have Lunchables than. Like a Wagyu steak, so I'm not gonna make a Wagyu steak. No, yeah, but my point is they asked me for Lunchables and I literally cook them steaks and whatever. So anyways, let's go to the grocery store after I get showered up. So I'll be right back. Did you say hi to Uncle Matt yet? Hi. 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 Uncle Matt and Daddy are gonna make grilled cheese, but you're gonna tell us which one's better. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the store. And uh, do you guys have any re do you have any requests of the kind of grilled cheese you want? Like Just maybe a good grilled cheese. Oh, a good, a good grilled yeah. cheese? <laughs> okay, what kind of bread? Well, you can't cheat. Friend. That's cheating. Okay, that's cheating. Yeah. Well, you're here too. No, you just you, you just can get some. Go okay, just go ahead. Okay. So, do, do, do I know who's who or no? No, no. no. it's called. This is what you call a blind Bye. taste testing. Yeah. Okay. All right, girls. Uh, do you guys want to go to grocery store? Or do you want me to yeah. just get it and bring it back? Yeah. Bring it back. Do you guys want like something with it, like soup or something? Yeah, soup. Or something? Oh, soup. Tomato soup. Tomato soup. Okay, I'll get you tomato soup. Juice. Oh, you were gonna make it? Yeah. Oh shoot. Okay. Let's buy some cheese. This is the first time I've actually gone in with a, another grown man into the grocery store <laughs> because I'm so used to going with the kids or with Judy or by myself. I'm curious what Matt's gonna buy versus what I'm gonna buy for grilled cheese. Oh, by the way, this is a fancy cheese section. Oh, yeah, I, I see it. But let's just stop by there. Get fancy right. cheese. I'm gonna trick him. I'm gonna make him think I'm picking fancy cheese, but really I'm just buying this for later. This is as much a cooking competition as it is a psychological, really psychological one. Huh? Are we only doing one time? Dude, what a, hey, it, no rules. There's no rules, okay? He's nervous, I can tell. No, actually, I'm, I'm legit nervous because I'm going up against a legit pro chef who's been cooking in some of the best restaurants in Seattle for over 10 years. Okay, so the girls, they love uh, tomato bisque soup, and this is my secret. Just buy whatever the grocery store gets. Don't, don't look at my career, okay? Don't get any, don't any ideas, okay? <laughs> Just to be fair, I do have Japanese white bread at the house, so you're welcome. You're welcome to use that if you want, okay? Because uh, you know this ain't the most fancy grocery store. This is our local grocery store, and I love it. This is the place I go to the most. The other day I went to the Wajimaya, and remember I was talking about Japanese white bread. It's different. It's a different level. All right, so Matt ultimately <laughs> picked this, okay? Which is kind of funny because. <laughs> the girls are gonna love it. I'm they telling. never get just straight normal white bread, and I have a feeling that's already gonna be a game changer. Where's the so. normie cheese? Normie cheese, normie huh? Cheese. Okay, I see. I see what direction you're going with it. I, I can already kind of see a theme coming here. Um, so this will be fun because I'm going a completely opposite direction. So there is something specific I'm looking for. So if you can't get thinly sliced cheese, which they used to have, the play here is this, just medium cheddar. And you can shred it and it can be super thin. Okay, that's kind of hilarious. We might as well just buy a whole block. Hey, I don't know if you noticed, but I grabbed the same cheese as you. you <laughs> I know, I know, I'll just get a big block. I don't know about you, but I'm not really keen on buying 50% off milk. It is gonna expire in a couple days and we'll probably go through this, but look at this, $3.99, cheaper than Costco. Uh-oh, Matt's gone. He's probably going to some secret ingredient. I'm going center cut, Hempler's bacon. It's thin enough, it's not quite as thin as I want it, but it'll do. I am getting kind of nervous because, um, okay, see, this is where the pro chef comes out right here. Okay. <laughs> I thought for ours we should just put some salami. Oh, no, in for it. sure. No, no. For ours, uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to do bacon, but. Tomatoes for the soup. Okay. Uh, 
Well, I usually do oregano, but Judy likes he's gonna, basil. He's gonna ru hairs. ruin anything I ever tried to do for the girls. Okay, all my all my work over <laughs> years. So the total was $133, but that includes all of his bougie ingredients um, and a gallon of milk, which was on sale, which is cool. I'm all about the sales and bacon. This little pan is my secret weapon, which I'm Matt, you're welcome to have. I'm gonna make clarified butter because I'm just obsessed with it. But these are my ingredients. I will get into it later. First, I have to help Matt. What do you need? Pot for the tomatoes. Okay, to... okay, a pot. We'll get a pot. A medium, yeah. big. Okay, cool. That's a legit pot then. Yeah, legit. Or okay, got it. The stop pot, whatever, and then um, some pans for the. The grilled cheeses. So Cast better. iron. Uh, I have a like a griddle, like a Zolgitushi griddle. I also have um, Cast iron be good. Anything that I could put into the oven. Oh, so okay, got it. Turn the oven on. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. oven. Okay. <laughs> I would not think to use an oven. Okay, <laughs> this is a new technique. I'm not gonna show Matt's whole recipe because he's also vlogging this. I'm sure you guys already know. He's this amazing chef on YouTube. He's uh, documenting everything, but yeah, the oven. I might have to step on my game here because I was not gonna do anything <laughs> like the oven. This is my little collection of cast iron. I have this medium size one or the larger size. The larger size, obviously, we can fit more. The large uh, size is good because then we can yeah. just fit more. Honestly, I'll just take both because then oh, I really? can just do all of them. Okay, cool. He asked for a grater, funny enough. We both need a grater, so here we go. Do you have okay. a processor? I do have a food processor, but it's like a tiny one. Oh, it's tiny? It's tiny, no. Like how tiny? Like so, okay, let me show you. This tiny. I mean. I don't even have the attachments, I just have that oh, attachment. Okay. So the, there's a trick with that. If you have like the breville one. Okay, yeah, yeah. You really like cut it up, diced up, and just throw it in the food processor. And yeah. Pulse it. You know what I do though? For Parmesan cheese, I'll put it in this and yeah. grate it. Yeah. And then I didn't realize that's where grated cheese comes from. Honestly, I'm gonna start the tomato soup first. Though, okay, cool. So. Okay, let me get you the pot. Oh, sick. I know you're. Oh, this one. This is the one you lid. gave me. <laughs> oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, it is. Stop. Yeah. He perfect. gives. He gives us a lot of stuff. <laughs> Matt has given me more cooking tools and gadgets than any other <laughs> human in the history of my life. So, very grateful. In fact, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Neat. Um, by the way, I have the knife uh, that you gave me too, so you can use that if you want. I, I hide it so no one else uses it. So right. let me just show you guys. I've actually never vlogged this before. This is a knife from a Seattle knife maker. All right, so I was thinking about going the the white bread route. I might still do that because we need to use this, but really this is, this is my jam right here. And it's a couple days old, so it's firm enough for me to cut thin. That's one of the keys. Um, so for today, I'm doing a combo. My combo is this plus cheddar. Cheddar? <laughs> Not American cheese? Oh no, this and the cheddar. That's oh, the combo, bro. That's the seeker right, right there. Right now, my current favorite beer, Johnny Utah Pale Ale. So. Yeah. I'm gonna show you the perfect pour. You know, I learned this perfect pour from an automated machine in Japan. You got a tilt. Whoa, look at that. Beautiful. Almost That's to the top. Beautiful. I learned how to pour beer, one, for my family in Japan. They drink beer every single night with dinner. But two, the machine, the automated uh, Asahi machine at the airport in the lounge, they would tilt the cup just like that. They would pour it so there wasn't too much foam. And on the last one third of the pour, they put it upright like this and then just let it go to town and create that foam. So. That was a nice Shout out to Japan. Okay, my strategy is this. The reason I want to go with this bread, but I'm changing my mind, is thin. You want to go as thin as possible. This is what I was looking for, the thin cut bacon and the thin cut uh, cheese, because part of the secret for grilled cheese for kids, can they actually bite it? See, when you go to a restaurant, I find that, you know, grown ups are the customers, um, sometimes the presentation, especially in this Instagram culture, it's all about how big is it? Like, what's it look like on the plate? You know, really crusty, thick bread. But for me, I have to think about the little ones, especially the one-year-old and Leah, the toddler, who was only three. So I try to make each 
part of my grilled cheese as thin as possible, hence why I'm gonna go with the sourdough because I can cut it real thin. And the, the second reason with sourdough, it has kind of a punchiness in terms of flavor. So that's gonna be a nice balance with the heaviness of the cheese and the bacon. That's so what I use on mine, sourdough, I love sourdough. Yeah, sourdough, so you just heard my secret. So that's actually the only two secrets I, I have, honestly. I like sourdough though. All right, let's see, let's see. I have a little bit of an edge on Matt because I do know the kids. He was even mentioning it. That was like the first thing he said. So, hey, of course you're gonna cook a better one because you know what they like or their preferences. Yeah. Now, I will tell you this. Yes, that is true, but to a certain degree because I've cooked amazing food that I thought was great and Judy thought was great and then the girls didn't like it. They won't watch it. They want Lunchables. I was like, that should make a shirt. They want Lunchables. Look, the shirt should be, they want Lunchables. <laughs> Maybe Lunchables will uh, sponsor us because the girls would love that. Shout out to Oscar Meyer. My kids love your product. It's not my cooking, honey. That's Matt's. <laughs> so I'm actually proud of myself because one of my secrets is shredded cheese. It makes it so much easier to get it on there and it melts nicely. And guess what? I grabbed the same cheese as a pro chef. Do you want to explain why you don't buy the pre-shredded stuff? Oh yeah, because it's crap, like it loses a lot of flavor. Well, do you know why though? It's coated with non-coating, uh, what do you call it, like flowers and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's coated with like starches and, and stuff. And that takes so away that the flavor? It takes away the flavor, but it also adds like, unnecessary BS, oh. like especially if I want to make something with it that I don't want that stuff in. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it. like way different than this type of cheese where it's going to like melt beautifully. For sure. You know, so I, we did typically don't buy slice, but the reason we would is ultimately Judy likes the convenience of the slice stuff. So we'll buy sometimes Tillamook sliced at Costco and it does for me personally, I pre prefer to do this, but I mean, this takes work and Judy normally likes to just grab a slice and just put it on the sandwich, so. But it's just funny that we had the same cheese idea. But I'm yeah. wondering if he was watching me and he, he saw that I went for the Tillamook <laughs> cheddar. That's how we would do it at work. <laughs> All right, so bread is done. Sliced nice and thin. Clarified butter. I'm just gonna take off all this stuff on the top. These are the milk solids. All right, bacon. Everybody loves bacon. That won't take very long, like maybe 60 minutes. Wow, I'm, I feel like I'm in a restaurant right now. The way you open things, you're like, <laughs> you've got a lot of conviction in the oh kitchen. Gosh. All right, so another one of my secrets. I'm all about that cast iron. Yeah. But today, I'm going with the non-stick. This is called the Zol Jirushi. Honestly, it's just convenient <laughs> and I can fit a lot of grilled cheese because Matt Lua ho is hogging the whole <laughs> uh, stove right now. I feel like I just saw a secret that you're gonna have to see on his channel because he just put something <laughs> in there that I've never seen. This yellow powder. This yellow powder, what was that yellow powder? Okay, so I've kind of given up. I was gonna do this, but it's almost kind of sad. I'll just keep this for a day where we're desperate because we're gonna have this whole pot of this home-cooked tomato basil soup, which the girls wanted. Hey, by the way, in the comments, let me know, would you want me to do a pantry tour to see everything that we have? Let me know. And also, what's something that's always in your pantry? So usually also when I'm tasting stuff, like yeah. I get like a ladle or spoon and like another vessel so yeah. you don't have to keep dipping a spoon and cleaning it. Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah I'm all about that. Mmm. That's nice. All right, so I got my bread. I'm about to butter it up. I got three kinds of cheese. This is just standard Tillamook cheddar cheeses from Oregon. Right here, a little plastic. And then also I'm gonna do Gruyere cheese. Secrets, wait. wait. Got this huge piece of metal that it's gonna smush it down to make it even more thin. Okay, this is next level. I've never seen anything like this. I've only seen it in your videos, but in person, this is uh, impressive. Oh, 
flip. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm getting nervous now. The whole process is very impressive. <laughs> that is, yeah. I have this thing with food, especially with grilled cheese. You want to want to Look at this. Okay, look at this. Look at this one, honey. Look at the presentation on this guy. That's beautiful. You guys are so lucky to have full mat cook for us. Bella. Bella, where are you going? Hey, Bella. All right, girls. Hi. Go ahead and grab one from each cutting board. Okay. Okay. What do we do? We try to clear sandwich. It's up to you. There's no. There's no rules really. Okay. Okay. I think you should try the same one at the same time. Okay. Let's try this one. Oh, okay. This one first. Trying to see which one they like the most. Well, you should try. Okay. Whatever. Three, two, one. Ooh, that crunch sounds so good. Okay. That's really good. Mm. I like I like how Kira's already dipping in the soup. She knows she knows what's up. She knows what's up. All right, girls, go ahead and put no. that one down. After you that bite, you can try the other one. Oh, you try it. Hmm. Cheese on this one's more gooey. And it's quite bad. Mm. Remember, choose based off of uh, mm. Taste? whatever you want, flavor wise, presentation. Oh, this is keto. Presentation. You guys can dip it in the tomato sauce. Mm. For tomato sauce. Mm. 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 I think I know which one I like. That's amazing. All right, girls, let me know when you're ready and then I'll vlog you guys, okay? <laughs> this um, one's A and that one's B, okay? Mommy's gonna start. Well, don't confuse it. Yeah, A should be this because that's what they tried first. This is okay, this is A. Okay, this is, and this A. is B. Yeah. Okay, mommy, go. Ready, set, go. B. B. A. 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 B. B. Oh, it's 50 50. Whoa, 50 50? <laughs> hey, I'll take it. Hey, that wasn't set up, okay? <laughs> Definitely. Right. I'll take it. I like I'll take it. I take B. Me and Kira are team B. I was I'm B. Like, hey, I, like <laughs> I was A. I was A. Leah have to try it. So then here, oh, you tell yeah, us I you want it you girls want to say commentary hey, Leah, why? Leah wants to Um Leah I like this me. one. It's just um I don't really I know oh, I know you're supposed like most people like white bread with this, yeah. but I don't. So, so you like I the sourdough? sourdough? And also um the bacon. Oh, the bacon. Okay. Mm. Which I one did you pick? Chose this one. Yeah. Just cause. Just cause. Okay. <laughs> I like it. I like it. The honesty. This one. I like the cheese. The cheese. Yeah, that cheese was gooey. And honey, why did you pick B? Well, I mean, this is like it's like a chip. Oh, no, I this know. This is so good. I know. And also the white bread and the butteriness, it was like a crispy uh, treat. Uh, I agree. It was the flavor. Look at this. Look at this little chip. I think. Oh, I think this one was okay, a unique. Dad, dad. Oh, no, dad. Dad, <laughs> dad well, try both. You have to. You have to try it. one bite of each. Okay. Go okay. ahead. Grab my grub. There's one too, Dad. The first one you had was A. Okay. This one. All right, tiebreaker here. Yeah. He's gonna be the okay, tiebreaker. Tie <laughs> what do we got? So the first one was A. Yeah. Then I gotta go to the second one. B. Yeah, which one is better? One and two. Oh, this is this is a lot of suspense. <laughs> now I'm confused. <laughs> Take one more bite of each. Take one more bite of each. No, I think I the can tell you the verdict now. Oh. I think A for me because of maybe just the a bread, and bacon in it. Is that better? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Try this other one too. And this one. <laughs> This one is cheesy because of the cheese, but I think I think this the A for me. But oh, I'm really confused. Both of them oh anyway. cheesy because of the cheese. Hey, it was a it was a fun fun night. I've been waiting to cook with you ever since I met you. I know that sounds like weird, yeah, but even though it was just sandwiches, it was fun. Dude, it was hella fun. <laughs>
Hey you guys, so I purposely did not vlog his sandwich or his recipe. You can go find it on his channel. Uh, when he uploads, I'll put the link down below. A cook named Matt YouTube channel, find them everywhere. You guys do grilled cheese? I'm curious, what kind of cheese is you use? I use fancy cheese. Oh, I'll put Gruyere in it too. That's why it was surprising that uh, they picked mine because mine had some fancy cheese in it. Yeah, they're usually not a fan of I know. Gruyere. Mine had three different kinds of cheese. Honey, you want them with the bacon. Yeah, it's of course <laughs> bacon. <laughs> Only thing is, that was a lot of cheese. I, <laughs> a lot of cheese. A lot of cheese. Cheese blockage going on. 